Welcome back friends, this is Ram here in 36th tutorial on JavaFX 8. In this tutorial we are going to see a email validation. From last few tutorials we are going to see a validations for the number, name. Now in this tutorial we are going to see email validation. So up to the tutorial we have seen, we have added some users with a their details like ID, first name, last name, emails. Now we have observed some problems. For example, the user, this user Anna John, have the email ID. Now there is no such email ID like this. But we are going to we are saving that into a database. So there must must be a restrictions for the email ID. The, the pattern of the email ID must match with the the required or a desired pattern it the pattern of email ID now that validations we are doing in the this tutorial so let's start with that the 36 tutorial for email validation now come to the validation classes so the I'm going to copy this one of the class from the previous tutorials and paste it here and rename this for the validate email now come to this pattern string now for the valid email we have to set something a string like a uh, email can be start from a, a character like uh, say character from like a lower case a to z it can be a lower case a to z and a uh, email id is a case insensitive so it can be capital a to z so it can be capital A to Z then uh, email ID can start from a, a digit or a number so it can be 0 to 9 then next it's about the first digit so when a, when a email ID start it can be a, a lower case can be a upper case and can be a number so for the remaining we are going to set so for the remaining it can be anything upper case sorry lower case upper case or any number so same it can be a lower case upper case and any number and similar and one more thing that it can contain a dot or a hyphen so it can contain a dot with a hyphen and for so this is and it can be a multiple times so this can be multiple times like this or uh, it can, can contain anything and then next is followed by at the rate so next is followed by at the rate next is the provider so it is a gmail so gmail gmail or it can be a, any company email id or it can be a, a yahoo so same thing i am going to copy here so it can be a 
लोअर केस अपर केस और एनी नंबर देन एंड इट मस्ट कंटेन एटलीस्ट वन सो प्लस नेक्स्ट इज वी आर गोइंग टू एड द अबाउट डोमेन सो डोमेन बी विद डॉट कॉम सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द डॉट सो इट ऑलवेज कंटेन्स अ डॉट विथ डोमेन विथ डॉट नाउ हेयर अ कॉम एंड हेयर अ डॉट को एंड डॉट इन सो स्टार्ट विथ इट कैन बी अपर केस एंड लोअर केस सो ए टू जेड एंड इट कैन बी अपर केस कैपिटल ए टू जेड and this may be at least one so plus for at least ones or maybe more than ones next close this bracket and this can be dot co dot in so again a ones it can be multiple times so for this is for dot co the bracket contains for the dot co and the next for the dot in so this is the pattern for the email id validations i am going to use this pattern in the in our match pattern so the pattern for the email id validation the first digit is first digit must be a uh, lower case up can be lower case upper case any uh, number and the remaining digits can be uh, lower case upper case or any number or a dot or any hyphen and it can be a uh, multiple times then a uh, followed by at the rate there is no space so then after the at the rate our provider that can be a lower case upper case and any number a number because of if any uh, provider is a company it can be a abc 0 or an anything then it can be at this provider must be at least at must once so plus then the domain name the domain start with the dot so dot and the after the dot the com must be from a lower case to or upper case at most once and if the id is dot com or dot co or dot in it be at most plus then we are going to provide here a email so if if it found as matches with the if it matches with the email input email we are going to compare the all the mail with the input and if it's true it's going to pass a true and the remaining if it if it's yeah, not true it's going we are going to generate a loud box for the valid validate email to say please enter valid email now save this and check whether the validation works or not so say user id 12 raj malhotra now we are going to delete this and check whether it's save or not so raj and so user has been created because we have not added the validation email validation in the save button action so add this to the save button action so first name and
email validation now save this and check So this is the user which we have created last time mistakenly so I'm going to delete this now say so this is the user id 12 say so Raj and when we click on save it must validate email so we can see that this is giving an error for the or warning for the valid validation so okay and if save raj dot abc at the rate gmail and the remaining if we have field remaining of so save so again it's validating a email up to the when when we write email then only it validate the field so dot com so check for this so it's validate valid email id so it's going to create so okay now one more thing if it's a yahoo mail so yahoo dot co dot n say username user id 13 say rajan anything else So we, are, we are going to save this with another provider that is yahoo.co then now as a mail and save so user has been created with a email id yahoo now this is the email validation and one more thing that you can go for more detail in a regular for regular expression in java you can refer more for more detail a regular expression in java for the how we can validate these names numbers integer numbers or email ids anything else you want to search go for a regular expression and if you have any question about this tutorial ask me in a comment section or you can mail me on Allah, my email id that is alapureram at the rate gmail.com and finally if you really like my work please like share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching this video see you in the next tutorial